Hello everyone, Benair here with another Legends of Runeterra gameplay video, and today I have an original deck concept of mine. And I just want to state this beforehand, this deck is not good in the current meta. Do not play this deck if you treasure your sanity, if you treasure your win rate, don't play it. It's just a fun deck concept I came up with and I wanted to try it. And it's very simply is Azir Aurelia, except instead of Aurelia, we run Kinnon. And my thought, it was just a random thought I had, Kinnon's level up condition is you've summoned the same ally five times. So, we're either going to summon five blades, or, more likely, we're going to summon five sand soldiers using Azir, uh, the Emperor's Deus, uh, the Dune Keeper, and the Desert's Wrath. We're just going to spawn a bunch of Sand Soldiers. And Kennen's not here to synergize with them. Other than the fact that he, it levels him up really quickly. And he's pretty strong as a 1-drop. Like a 2-1 quick attack that creates the Mark of the Storm. We're not going to spam tons of Mark in the Storm. We're not going to recall him and play him over and over. No, no, no. It's very simply, we're here to turbo level Kennen using the Sand Soldiers. And like I said... This deck has problems. In the current meta, it sucks. And it's not even fine-tuned enough. I haven't had a chance to play enough games. But I like the deck the deck concept. And when it does go off, it's pretty fun. So, without, you know, I don't really think I need to go into it too much. We got Green Glade Duo and Sparring Student because we still spawn out a bunch of units. Uh, we got a Quicksand as a tech card for a bunch of the keywords, specifically the Pantheon Faded guys going around everywhere. Twin Disciplines, just because it's a really good card. And we have Voice of the Risen as our late game buffer. And a Spirit Fire, which is more of a meta call. There's still a whole bunch of swarmy decks, especially Ari Kennen. And this Spirit Fire is just there to deal with wide boards. But uh, like I said, the it has its major problems. I would not take it into ranked. But if you want to have some fun in normals with it, go at it. Have fun. Let's go ahead and get into game number one. And start... Oh, don't be dragons. That's thing. Like, not even the cannon changes. There are certain decks that Sand Soldiers and Blades just insta-lose to, and one of which is dragons. Hopefully this is just an Aurelian late-game solution, and it's more of a Zoe deck. Um, We're going to throw this back. But uh, I like the Emperor's Deus into Azir. If we can get a low-cost unit, a Kennen or Sparring Student. That works. Nothing we're going to have... Nothing we can do about the Zoe turn one. We're going to have to let them get a super cool star chart. And we're going to go into Emperor's Deus into an attack. Unless... Unless he drops something with two power. In which case, we won't be able to attack this turn. No two power and mono targon, which means yeah. I don't think there's anything to fear. I don't think there's any one mana buff for one besides gems, which he doesn't have. So yeah, we'll get this attack off, and he'll jump block. We still get two damage through it. Ugh, we're regrettably just gonna have to take that. Now our gameplay here is going to be a Zeer. If he opens attack, we just take that. We're going to go for a Zeer into a Desert's Wrath. And then swing for lots of damage. What's he discarding? Yeah, he keeps just throwing out his super cool star chart, which is makes sense. I mean, you don't want to get the discount on it. You might as well discard it. It's the same effect, too, so... Now, the thing I have to worry about is if he draws, if he got a, um, the Crescent Strike, the Stun 2 allies, that would suck. I mean, I'd still get the attack off with this board, but I'd like to attack with the Sparring Student. If he did get it, he'll probably stun the Sparring Student and one of the Sand Soldiers. Apparently, he did not, though. We get a very wide attack here. Uh, we're not swinging with the Azir. We do not want the Azir to get bought by this guy. Yeah, he's, he's a little big. 
Still taking 11 damage, buddy. All right. Yep. And that's still six damage, and you lose two of your units. The rest of mine are just tokens, so... This, this is what the deck does. It, it functions just like Aurelia Azir used to. Except... I think the Kinnon is actually not the worst replacement, since Aurelia had both the level-up nerf and the nerf to the um, Flawless Duet card. Yes. Um... Five damage... I think we eat the five. We throw out the other day as how close are we living up? Still need six more units. Okay. And if he try and we see leave mana open for the twin disciplines or the Nova Five. If he tries to do damage this turn, then we're just gonna with a slow spell that will nopify it. We're gonna go ahead and notify that. I my I need my sparring student. You have to keep this guy safe. If he gets dealt with, do the power level of your deck just goes down a lot. It's such a key card. Second notify is really good. We're just gonna go ahead and um We're gonna swing out like you know what we're gonna do? Destiny calls. We're actually going to swing with the Azir. And the student. We're trying just to push for as much damage as we can right now. You are misguided. We actually have two Spirit Fires in hand. There is an argument to be made to go ahead and use one of them to save the sparring student. See, my choice is I can either Spirit Fire here, which will deal with these two in the back row. Or I can Twin Disciplines to keep this thing set up. I think I'm going to get rid of the Zoe. She's getting really close to leveling up. That saves my sparring student, and during the end of turn, both of them will take two damage, killing them. Now, if he wants to spend a couple spells to buff this, then that's fine. He does not. He does take a chunk of damage, though. He's only a five. And our next attack... We could draw a Blade Dance card, though. That'd be amazing. Play an Invoke to Invoke. See, it's really good to get rid of this. He's gotten a lot of value out of this Mountain Scryer already. We don't need him being able to play like an 8-drop Celestial card next turn. And for lower mana. And we have another Spirit Fire. So we can, even if he tries to go with the whole... Oh, okay. Keep it. Yep. Shows you how much he wants to keep it alive. He still loses his Zoe, who was at 8 out of 10. I mean, he could have two spells. He does not. Okay, good. So he's dealt with. Did not need that leveling up. Plus, we have another Spirit Fire this turn if we need it. In fact, if he swings all out, probably just gonna Spirit Fire everything. I think this card's actually really good in the current meta, too. It's a little expensive, but 7 mana burst speed. It's hard to beat it. Star chart. Into. Yeah, he's thinking through really hard here because he knows he's he is not in a good position right now. Admittedly, I'm not exactly a, the healthiest lactol either, but with two deuses on the field, he has to be careful. We also have this surprise twin discipline in hand. Ooh. Right, he's definitely gonna play something else, so I'm just gonna pass. If he passes back, it's fine. 
But I'm pretty sure he got something else here he's going to play out. Oh, nope. That's fine. Okay. So... See, he needs three units spawned. So we're going to throw you out. Blade Dance it. Which will level up his ear. Then we'll play the Doom Keeper. And if I, if I really wanted to be a... Oh, no. Actually, I think this is the best way to do it. Go ahead and get the level up now. Yeah, if he swings like this, if he blocks like this, we're just going to do the hits. And then we swing at him. And whatever he doesn't block, we just buff with the Twin Disciplines. Mana reduction. <gasps> he reduced his cost by three! Oh, he reduced it to three! Oh, you dummy, you shouldn't have done that! <laughs> oh, I can nopify it because he reduced it to three cost instead of its original six. Oh, that's perfect. He sowed the seeds of his own downfall. <gasps> oh. Got him. Yeah, you can't deal with that. Oh, I can't believe he actually did that. He reduced the cost of his falling comet to three, which means Nopify could hit it. I was freaking out for a second going like, eh, I can still swing out, but it's not going to be as good. No, it's, I got it. I got it. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have BM'd him so hard, but oh, uh, wh why did he use the reduced cost by one? I mean, I guess. I mean, it doesn't matter what, but I would have saved it for when you needed it. Like, he had eight mana left over. It's not like he was hurting for it. Whatever. Whatever. I'm sure he had his reasons. Game two. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to do too well into this during my practice games. This... Well, it wasn't... The Dragon, the Wounded White Flame, that card just kills this deck. It's, I won't, but if he drops a Wounded White Flame, the game's all bad, to be perfectly honest. What's today's lesson? Oh, no uh, Saga Seeker. Which is very big. Like, it's just so hard to get through these faded cards because we, we deal chip damage with this deck, and... It's hard to get through that when you're constantly in That's fine. Like, see, it's just the Fury and the Fate. It just makes this thing get buffed so much. Oh, that buffs it so much. I... I don't think we're ever gonna be able to kill this thing. Like honestly, he drew the this one card in his deck just completely shuts us down. I'm gonna go for survival over anything else. I don't think we're gonna win this. Like it, we just physically can't get through dragons. Yeah, this... I mean, I can't even... I can't play any of my Blade Dance units because they're just gonna get killed by this and make it stronger. I bring clarity. 
I know that this is just gonna make it stronger, but I'm just trying to buff this as much as humanly possible. Like, this card right here is my soul hope. It has to live. If it lives, I have a chance. I'm constantly gonna keep Nopify open for single combats, and... Azir is also important, though, to make sure that this keeps getting units spawned out to keep it safe. So I'm going to try to notify it. Plus, that tells me he's targeting Azir mainly. And if that's the case, then I say more power to you, buddy. Now, if he has another... Um, oh, he didn't do it on the Wounded White Flame. That's a misplay, buddy. And there's nothing I could have done about that. He had two sharp sights and a wounded white flame. Not much I can do about that. All right, I'm gonna do what I can, which is I'm going to Desert's Wrath this turn to get blockers, if I get the chance to. Hopefully he's not going to try to just... Honor the mountain. <sighs> he's just gonna go for... I'm gonna get... I'm just gonna have to eat the six. I'm going to play this to preemptively buff my units, then I'm going to start Blade Dancing next turn. And if I draw a cannon, I can stun this down now. But... See, they're just... They're too big. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and call it that again. Uh, game three. Game three. Like I said at the beginning, I can't do nothing against that dragon. And he had it. Next year. I, it, that's the downside of the deck. You're, you're just doing nothing but summoning a bunch of one-drop units. If you go against that or dragons, you're, you're just going to lose. Yasuo TF Nami? Okay. And we got a sparring student and up oh, finally got a cannon. We might actually do some this game. Um This deck's not gonna run parlay, is it? Nah, no way this deck runs parlay. Make it rain is what I'm worried about, so instead of playing the dais, I played a cannon to buff this up. Alright, now here's decision time. You're... I'll take that. I had nothing in hand, really, buddy. Like... I was just gonna play it by the seat of my pants, but easy victories are still appreciated. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go for one more game then. Last game. Uh, I'm not gonna count the surrender on my opponent's part. We're at one win, one loss. Let's see. Oh no! I don't want to play against a meta deck. I'm playing normal so avoid you. Rumble has spell shield too. Uh, so gross. We got chump blockers at least. cool. Never seen that minion. Or Guardian, I should say. 
Alright, he's not having a fast start either, so that's good. I have the best job. The Yordle here is with me. Let's boogie. Yeah, we're gonna have to let him get his axes here regrettably, but can't do nothing about it. We're gonna buff all of our sand soldiers so he can't easily block it. And this also keeps our Nopify mana open for Whirling Death or anything like that. But buffing our sand soldiers to two attack against this Draven is super relevant. A rumble here would probably be the worst case scenario. Playing it with the Masia though. Okay. Never see us I'll, I'll, hey, I accept that. That's a lot of damage coming your way though, buddy. Like, I hope you're not counting on a spell. I gotta. He takes it? What is this guy thinking? Like, I suppose he figures, like, eh, you know, I, it is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. But even so, buddy, like. Axes. Um, um, oh, okay. You know what this guy's doing, I think? I bet he's going for a rally. That's why he's playing in Demacia, so he can run um, Relentless Pursuit and Aegis. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of his overwhelm and all that, and we'll trade. We'll trade with you, buddy. Oh, sure. He doesn't have rally mana now, though. So we're just gonna let that go through. Like, he just had buffs to high heaven. I knew it. He drew all of his buff cards. He's just buffing. Oh my god, that would have so killed us. It almost kills us. Draven. 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 Alright, we're just gonna pass. Let's see if he has the rally card. Like, if he does, we're actually in trouble. Oh, that was a chain vest. Oh, we might still be in trouble here. That card was already in his hand. Thank God we can nope by that. All right. Nope. Not today, Satan. See what we Got him! Alright, that game went by really quickly, but, um, good games all around. Yeah, like I said, the deck ha definitely has its issues. If your opponent plays a dragon, with rare exceptions, you just lose. Faded completely kills this deck. Um, burn heavy decks like Ezreal just kill it, but the deck's fun. I, and, and it was just a fun concept of the Kinnon insta-levels up when you play him, but... I didn't even get a chance to show that off. Like I said, the deck has a lot of issues. I'm not even... I, the deck does not work, guys. But it was a fun concept, and I enjoyed playing the games that I did. So, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave a comment down in the description... In the comment section below. And for a deck you'd like me to see me play, or anything like... Any suggestions of games you'd like to see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for the next video.